It starts off with this long ass Frederick Douglass ass intro. We see Dr. Huxtable and his conservative black family dancing and having a good time. It's a wholesome non-hood TV show. Dr. Huxtable is cooking up some delicious steaks. The family is getting ready for some big cookout they having. This zesty ass light skinned nigga named Alvin is here in the kitchen. He trying to figure out the secret recipe to Dr. Huxtable's secret barbecue sauce. Spoiler alert, it's drugs. It's hardcore drugs. I'm not joking, in the sauce. That is a secret sauce and he's not giving the recipe to you. He's taking that recipe with him to the grave. You dropped something. <laughs> uh oh. Yes. <laughs> So if you've never seen the show before, it's a rich ass black family, they real fancy or something, half of them are super light skinned for some reason. You got Dr. Cliff Huxtable, he a doctor, Cliff Huxtable, he deliver babies or something exclusively. That's a pretty whack job, who the fuck would want to do that? Then you got Claire Huxtable, she a lawyer I think or something, I think. Maybe I'm wrong, I'm going by memory here. Theo Huxtable, he the son, he always up to getting in trouble. Who the fuck is this? I don't even know who this nigga is. Goofy ass mustache yo? I think he's somebody's husband, maybe he's Denise's husband. She too good for him, that's not fair. Denise is the light skinned daughter, she like a hippie or something. Sandra is the light skinned daughter. Rudy. How many kids this nigga got, man? Damn, that's not even all of them. Where is this one? She not even in the damn show no more. Y'all got way too many kids, bro. It's still like Nick Cannon house. Wait a minute. You had a bridal shower, but nobody gave Martin a bachelor party? Oh, you didn't have a bachelor party? No, I think we should throw you a real bachelor party. Martin, I think you should have a bachelor party. Do you really? Yeah, you know. It's important, all that male bonding. We're gonna go all out for you. Spare no expense. This is gonna be Wow. All right. <laughs> Mustache Yo never had a bachelor party when him and Denise got married. It's because they got married randomly off screen earlier in the season. It's like season seven. They were just doing anything at this point. They add hella random ass characters and shit. The chick from Living Single becomes like the main character at some point with this random ass group of 90s zany friends. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just focus on this episode for now. A stripper? So how much did the stripper cost you for your brother's best <laughs> Ew, please, I hardly think Martin's gonna go for something so sophomoric. A stripper? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Denise is upset because Theo wants to hire a stripper for Mustache Yo bachelor party. That starts a whole ass debate between the men and the women. The men think it's no big deal, but the women think it's the end of the goddamn world for some reason. Theo's gonna hire a stripper for Martin's bachelor party. You gotta be kidding, does Martin know about this? Yeah, he seems fine with it. Did you know that Theo is hiring a stripper for Martin's bachelor party? Oh, really? Do you approve of this? You have to be a good sport about these things. <laughs> I don't understand. What do they think a bachelor party was? What else is a bachelor party? Male bonding, bitch? Oh, you know, it's important all that male bonding. You want a party with a bunch of niggas? Him and his niggas? Why can't he just do that at any time? It's not a bachelor party. What makes that a bachelor party? Why does she have to approve of it? You know that the boys are hiring a stripper for Martin's bachelor party? Mm-hmm. I think it's archaic, demeaning, and stupid. Did you tell them that? I'm not married to them. I'm married to you. If I see you watching the stripper, that's it. <laughs> This episode of Primsa Cinema is sponsored by ShipStation. Sometimes we do stuff the hard way when we really don't have to. You don't dig a hole with your hands, right? You use a shovel or some sort of digging tool. I don't know. Point is, when you're running a business, shipping your products can be complicated and time consuming. Don't keep doing it the hard way. ShipStation gives big hustlers like you an easier way to manage all their shipping. It works with all your storefronts, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, etc. So keeping track of all your orders, 
choosing carriers, printing labels, ShipStation streamlines that whole process for you. So you can focus on just growing your business and watching my hilarious videos. They're already trusted by over 100,000 sellers and 98% of the companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. If you're a business person trying to get your business on, ShipStation's got your back. It's not magic but it'll make your shipping stress disappear. Sign up using promo code PRIM for a free 60-day trial today at ShipStation.com and start breathing easier with every shipment. That's a whole two months of stress-free shipping, and it's free to try. Just go to ShipStation.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in PRIM. ShipStation. Make ship happen. This nigga Dr. Huxtable is acting super suspicious the whole episode, by the way. He's barely in this shit, honestly. I think he was out buying the actual drugs to put in the barbecue sauce. This whole episode is really just focused on this antiquated ass men versus women storyline. This shit is stupid. It's low-key pissing me off. Well, you know that I support the idea of you and the other men having your little bachelor party to do. Baby, you heard what I said to them out there. I said no. You, you didn't just say no. Well, what did I say? Well, you said no. <laughs> so he's not even having a stripper for sure. He just kind of got excited about some titties and now everybody's fighting. What kind of shit is this? These judgmental ass rich people. I can't imagine living with these cornballs. If I had the choice, I'm staying in the hood all day. Fuck these niggas. <laughs> it's disgusting and it exploits women women have to make themselves sexy and alluring because men like him are obsessed with the perfect female form ain't that your brother you don't have to impress him or be sexy for him what are you talking about you dress like a dr seuss person right now are you trying to be sexy it don't seem like it clearly you don't have to be sexy you can be whatever you want including a stripper or a Grinch person. Stop judging people. All the men and the women arguing now, they start throwing personal shots and everything too. Alvin says Sandra's neck game is terrible or something. He took it too far. Your neck. It's just a shade thin. Sometimes I wonder how you swallow. <laughs> I'm very happy with your body. I'm happy with your neck, the whole thing. Then why do you want to see that stripper? I don't, he does, me. Yeah, see, I get not approving of it, but they legit don't understand why a man would want to see titties. I guess this is just back in the day when everybody had to pretend not to like sex or whatever. That shit sounds miserable. The light-skinned grandparents come to the cookout. They start arguing too about the stripper thing. It's really boring and not funny, but hey, it's the 80s though. That's what it was. What are you all looking at? Haven't you ever seen people argue before? <laughs> yeah, but not you guys. Oh, grow up. Everybody does a complete 180 all of a sudden and all the women start offering to be strippers now? I want you to have great food and friends and all that. You can even have your stripper. Me. <laughs> great idea. I think that I have a few hot moves myself. <laughs> Go in the house. And don't leave me out. I'll bring the thing. <laughs> The Huxtable family worked everything out. They all super horny and drowsy. Dr. Cliff Huxtable has this sinister ass look on his face the whole time and he finally explains what's going on. It's my barbecue sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you ever noticed after people have some of my barbecue sauce, after a while when it kicks in they get all huggy buggy? I got a cup of it up on the night table. And <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's just the barbecue sauce is so good, it make you horny. No, hell no. Look at Sandra, she's barely conscious, bro. How do they think this was okay to put on TV? He was actually doing this shit to people in real life too. This nigga of bold as shit. None of this is okay. Y'all some grown ass people. Y'all should already know that. I'm not getting into this, man. Love this chicken. Hi, Rudy. Bro, where did he even get this mystery substance from? I mean, he a doctor, sure. That makes sense. What about in real life? How did he get that shit? 
Well, he a doctor in real life too. All right. Moral of the story though, getting a stripper is wrong for your bachelor party, but secretly drugging your entire family and making them horny or something, that's okay. All right, 80s logic. I don't have the energy, man. You win this round. Stripping bad, secret drugs, good. Take some secret sauce, then you can strip for your family. So Martin, bring the whole fleet, and Elvin, <laughs> don't worry, you won't see me because you'll be sitting in the back. <laughs> this is what happens when you can't be upfront with sexual shit at all. You get weird and repressed, and you put shit in people's food, when really, he should've just went to the goddamn strip club like a normal person. I would hate to be in this family, man. You think just cause they all rich and assimilated, shit would be sweet? But no, ain't no telling what's going on with these weird ass niggas. Like, they keep calling your shit a barbecue for one. It's a cookout, goddammit, what's wrong with y'all? That's it though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and it don't get destroyed immediately. My Four Brothers review is coming up next. Don't miss it. Make sure to catch all my live streams on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday. Shout out to my Patreon homies, all that. I love all y'all. Let me know which sitcom episode you want me to cover next. I like doing these little mini episodes. I'ma keep them coming. But okay, Bill Cosby video. All right, ready.